Hey everyone, Tab back again with another how to do pen tool uh, in Photoshop 7. Hopefully this one won't be as boring as my last one. <laughs> I will be using the pen tool this time. Last time I was basically just saying that you need to get a tablet if you want to do line art in Photoshop 7, but that's not the case. You can use it with do it with the mouse too, so that's what I'm doing in this video. Um, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here you see me getting my pen tool um, set up. I'm using the, what's it called, St stroke path, I think it's called. Um, and I'm setting it to black. Um, scroll in here. You can see I'm using a picture of Yuna as my example for today. Let's just get started on her hair. Basically what you just do is um, click once to add the stroke path thing and then click again somewhere else and then press the control button. Press and hold the control button to drag it and <coughs> then you right click on somewhere on the page and then say stroke path brush and then it'll do your line it's a pretty tedious process um but it's fun anyway um i might not have the ter the terms completely correct um but it's pretty simple to understand once you get used to it. Um, it does take a while. That's why I like to use my tablet to do the line art because it doesn't take as long. But this is a another process that you can use. Um, yeah, so I'm just setting up a lot of different um stroke paths or whatever they're called right now. I'm trying not to make this video boring, but uh it probably is. <laughs> yeah, so this is a picture of Yuna from Final Fantasy ten two or X two or however you would like to say it. Um and down in the corner you can see Tina's plushy. <laughs> Uh, it's a picture I'm working on right now. I sketched it with my tablet and I did the liner with the <coughs> pen tool. Okay. So, basically you just repeat the process over and over again. Um, for her nose, I, instead of saying just stroke path, um, the brush tool, I said simulate pressure which makes it look like that as you can see <laughs> it's a different way to do it. it makes it look like you used a tablet when you really didn't and instead of getting just thick bulky lines you get um I was say wispy lines but it looks prettier in my opinion so for that what I'm doing right now is her eyebrows um what I'm what I did was I pressed I pressed and hold control and then I click on somewhere else on the page and then I can do another brush stroke. It's more confusing than just doing one at a time. That's why I don't do it. But it's just another way to do it. Basically it's just playing around with it and seeing what you think is best. Um yeah. My voice might sound a little weird because I still haven't go gotten over this cold. <laughs> so here I'm doing her mouth. Um, you can see I make a lot of mistakes in this, and that's the reality of it. You're going to make a lot of mistakes when you do it. And then what's really good is the undo tool. 
thing, the undo feature um, that you can't typically do in traditional line art. You just like white it out or something. Um, yeah, but doing mis making mistakes isn't all bad. <laughs> So, next I'm doing the shape of her head. Um, she's chibi, so she doesn't have much of a shape. Um, but it's a little difficult with when you're using the pen tool, and you don't want it to look bumpy, but then you don't get the right lines in. So that's something that you need to watch out for when you're using the pen tool and doing line art. Um, one thing that you need to note is instead of using one layer like I did in this video, which, mind you, was a mistake, <laughs> you have to set up another layer on top of the background layer so that you don't get your sketch and your line art merged in the same layer. Because that means that you have to do your line art all over again, which isn't very fun. <laughs> um, so don't make that mistake. I make that mistake quite frequently. I'm used to using Paint Shop Pro 10, which when you use the pen tool, it just does it automatically. But that's the end of this video. Hopefully I'll have another video up pretty soon. So, until then, thanks for watching.